Well, we want to win. That's the number one thing. But you got to have healthy players to do that. And it's a catch-22. You know, you play DeMar and, and uh, Kyle for 38, 40, 42 minutes. It, it's, it's sooner or later, it's going to tell on them. So that's the only point. It's not a major, uh, major revelation that we want to, but we need to try to watch them, but at the same time win. And uh, again, winning trumps a lot, but again, the health of our players going forward is really important also. How much more do you expect, or do you even expect to see more of Nando and Grievous playing together over the next stretch? Well, we'll see. Yeah, I mean, everybody's got to be ready. Was Nando, you know, uh, John Salmons, anybody that's you know on the bench, has got to be ready to come in. Uh, the problem was yesterday, even our bench guys were kind of in second gear. You know, we were, we were flat as a pancake yesterday, and then the second group come in flat, but it, we turned it around in the fourth quarter, which was a good thing. You, um, you're tweaking minutes right now, and that's that's what you're doing. What are you expecting of your players in terms of tweaking going into the playoffs? Do you, do you want them to change anything? Do you want them no, to find anything? No, 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 no. Well, we got to, the thing defensively, we got to make sure we're more specific in what we're doing, not miss assignments. Mm -hmm. uh, that's going to happen, but offensively get a rhythm uh, of getting the ball up the floor quicker, get into our offense quicker, get into our multiple pick and rolls quicker. Uh, well, yes, they were kind of slogging through it until the fourth quarter. So those are the things we got to continue to get better at, improve at, um, uh, you know, going going toward the end. I'm not even talking about playoffs because we haven't got it yet, but yeah. as we go toward that direction. When you were when you were in Dallas, did, did you find the players, did they fine-tune their off-court activities going into that last, you know, three weeks like we are now? Were you getting ready? Just, just sort of, well, I don't know if it's diet or sleep. Well, no, or that, you, that's, we just talked about that this morning. Uh, time management, making sure you stay off your feet. Uh, you know, I know the organizations cut back on the appearances for the players, so that's part of time management, life management. Uh, you should have been eating right the whole year. Yeah, you know, I you can't. But, um, but again, all that's important, not only going into, but, but these next next couple weeks, because believe me, no matter who you are, we have no Supermans in this league. So you make sure rest is your friend, and that's what you have to do as a, as a professional player. Or did some of the uh, Leafs players stop by for a visit? They did. That was great. Talked to them about you know what they're going through, and they watched some of the practice. And uh, you know it's, it's a great that they're a basketball fan, just as I watch their hockey matches and games. And uh, I think it's great to have the same organization come in together. That you know, like I told them, they're always welcome to come in and watch practice. And one of these days, I'm gonna make sure I make it over to one of their practices. Because Again, you can learn something from another. I'm a big believer you learn something from other sports. As I go to football training camp in Seattle, the world champions, um, and then I want to go and, and I want to watch Leafs practice because you can pick up something uh, from other sports. How'd that come about this morning? Did they just show up on their they own? They came up, I mean, which is great. It's, and it's totally fine with me. They're welcome at any time and uh, practice whatever they want to do. So um, I thought it was great. And it was good to see all of them come through. and say hello and, um, and and watch practice. Um, we got, I got a chance to speak to Nando for the first time today. What are some of your expectations for him? I know it's a rough time to even inject someone to the lineup, but right. you've seen a good amount of him recently. Right. Well, the, the thing with Nando is is make, making sure he feels comfortable. He has a shot that's a good shot. His shot, take it. Don't feel, be tentative. Uh, be aggressive. Make the easy play. He has a knack of, of either hitting a grand slam or or throwing it out of bounds. So, but again, he's he's aggressive. The, his energy is infectious as far as coming into the game, pushing the pace, pushing the tempo, his cuts, uh, all that stuff. I, it was a huge difference in our game in New Orleans, and um, so that's what we expect from him: come in and, and do something energy-wise, game-changing-wise, uh, to help us. Expect to see Pat on this trip? Or? We we hope so. I mean, he's he's having test run today, so we'll know a little bit more tomorrow. Uh, we're keeping our fingers crossed for him because again, his energy, his he should be fresh. His legs should be fresh, and so uh, a lot of positive will come out of that.